Hi, my name is Joey. And my name is Sam. And this is School, School Nights. Nights. It is episode six. six today, you guys. Six. Yes. And outside, I think you guys can tell, but I think, I don't want to get ahead of myself, I think spring has sprung I, in Michigan. I want to say spring has sprung. I did see all the uh, staff outside mm -hmm. taking away like the little like markers and there was a yes. snowplow. Yep. So if Calvin knows anything, it's that spring has sprung. We might be past the snow, but I won't get ahead of myself because Michigan, you never really no. know. West you West might Michigan. get a curveball here get and a curve there. Ball. But we have some curveballs today, Sam. We do. We have kind of like a smorgasbord, I'd say, I would of say like a good, segments a good, today. You know, buffet mm -hmm. for you. A good buffet. So first off, for our first segment, we're going to head it hand it over to our friend Ray Han, who's yes. over in the Norcrest East Apartments or KE Apartments. Yeah, and he's actually he's an RA there. Mm -hmm. He's an RA, so he's going to show us all about what life is like living on campus. And we all have an interview with our friend Ben about transitioning into the apartment life as well. Absolutely. And for our third and final segment, Joey, what do we have? Yeah, we have a wonderful interview with uh, Speech Pathology, mm -hmm. which will be in later in the episode. We also, in the middle, we have a great episode, a little trick segment on the Bunker Interpretive Center, which is right. a great nature preserve over here behind us on campus, which we're super excited to show you guys too. And in between each segment, we're actually going to be interviewing some yes. of our good friends, we're interviewing, ask them questions about their life, their experience at Calvin, so you guys can get to know a little yeah. bit of what and life of course, is like here at Calvin. If you want to ask questions in the future, <laughs> Type them on the comments and we'll find people that are able to answer those questions if yeah. we're not. So we can kind of always have that going too. But Joey, as always, who are you and yeah. what do you do and why? My name is Joey, like I said earlier, and I'm a junior here at Calvin. I had the privilege of studying strategic mm -hmm. communication and I'm from just outside Chicago, Illinois. And my name is Sam Wollema. I'm from Hudsonville, Michigan, so not too far away. I'm studying physical education with a minor in recreational leadership. I'm a senior here mm -hmm. as well, and I did get the wordle in three tries today. But don't bring it up to Joey. I, don't bring it up. It was, a, it was a rough day. Rough day for you him know, today. I think we should but go to a better subject about all about apartments. Let's hand over Good to point. our boy in Norcrest East. Hey everybody, I'm Rehan and I'm an RA in the KE Apartments. And today I'm going to be showing you a quick tour of an apartment in KE and a little bit of a tour outside. So I'm right now in a friend's apartment and this is a kitchen. So you get a really nice furnished kitchen, stove, microwave, fridge, and lots of counter space behind me. If you come over here, this is like the seating um, living room area. You got some couches, you can throw up a TV over there. And in the back over there are the bedrooms and uh, a bathroom. And so that's pretty much the apartment. And it's really nice. Out here is like a balcony that kind of looks out to the middle of the courtyards. Uh, that's what this place is known as. And next, I'm gonna quickly transition outside where I can show you a little bit more about uh, KE. Hi everybody, I'm now outside and I'm in front of Theta Epsilon, which is kind of like the big apartment. We got like the lobby in there. We got the KE office. Out here, we got the volleyball court. Um, so when it's, I guess, nicer outside, you guys can play volleyball. Basketball court all the way over there. Kind of see it. Over here, we got like a fountain area. Lots of events happen over there. Uh, for example, we had a Halloween event and a bunch of people showed up, lots of games, lots of fun too. Up over there, we got Phi Chi. Yeah, that's the apartment that I'm the RA for, or at least half of it. And then over here is Zeta Lambda. And over there in the back are the courtyard apartments. And that was one of the apartments I was in. And so each apartment is kind of different, but they're all cool in their own ways. So thanks for following me out along on this little tour of KE. Thank you so much, Rayhan. That has yeah. been awesome to see kind of just what a slice of life is like over mm -hmm. in the Christmas apartments. I know some people that have so much fun there. Right. And Sam, one of our friends, is going to introduce our friend Ben here all yeah. about KE. Yeah, so Ben is one of our good friends, and he's actually going to live in KE next year. So he's going to give us why he chose KE and some of the other really cool things. So Ben, introduce yourself yeah. first. So we get to know I'm you. Ben. I'm a sophomore right now. Uh, next year I'll be a junior, so KE Apartments is for juniors and seniors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what made you say, you know what, I want to stick on campus, I think it's a good idea for me. What was the main sell to be mm -hmm. in KE next year? Well, they actually have soccer um, right there, oh. and they also have volleyball nets okay. right next to the KE apartments. And also the in-apartment kitchens was a big sell for me. Ooh, yeah, That is big. I, we your, did see that in yeah, Ray Han's tour. What is your tour. favorite thing to cook it up? What's your favorite dish to cook Ooh. it up? I love breakfast food. It's got to yes. be pancakes. Yeah, okay. It's got to be the eggs. It's sunny side up eggs on nice piece of toast. You can't love go wrong. On, I on. love it. I didn't think I could love Ben anymore. I, do, I, I didn't think, know that about oh. Ben, but now I just like... 
I want to go to breakfast at your place next year. How's that sound? Want to go? I, I think we should. Dude, I think I we, think totally we should, should also go over to our friend at the Nature Preserve. Yeah, Ben Adamson is going to give us a tour of the Bunker Interpretive Center and talk about what happens over there. So, Ben, that's all you. All you, man. Hey everybody, my name is Ben and I'm here at the Calvin Ecosystem Preserve and Native Gardens. I am a preserve intern here, uh, which means I do a lot of invasive species management along with native plant propagation. Um, we also do some trail maintenance and other projects that the land manager requests of us. Um, and yeah, the Ecosystem Preserve here is about 100 acres, 40 of those being open to the public uh, with trails that you can hike on uh, anytime there's sunlight out. And then there's also 60 acres of a sanctuary um, where it is not open to, open to the public in order to maintain satisfaction for the animals and other species living in there. Uh, so that's a great place for us preserve interns to do some research about how the ecosystem is interacting with itself and without human input. Um, there's also about 150 native plant species um, that are in the preserve that you can check out and learn about. Um, one place you can learn about those is in the Bunker Interpretive Center. So follow me in here. The Bunker Interpretive Center is just the building that's connected to the preserve and it's open from 8.30 to 5 uh, most days. So you can come on in here. Um, the Interpretive Center has two classrooms that are used by uh, some environmental science and bio um, and geo classes. So there's one over there. There's also one in here. So you can check it out with a great view of South Pond. And if you follow me back into the hallway, over here there's a picture of everyone here on staff. They seem pretty cool. And then on the rest of the walls, there's just some other information about preserve, like different invasive species you might want to know about. Um, a little uh, example diagram of how our water is being used, and you can kind of spin this wheel and see different things about water usage and other water drainage things. And then also just some cool pictures of some plants with some poetry, which is sick. There's also some fun animals you can interact with in the preserve. What up, Curtis? And finally, there's just a little more information here about different furs and animals you might find here in the preserve. If you follow me this way, I will show you the entrance to our trails. This next bridge here is the entrance to those 40 acres that I mentioned earlier. So if you swing by Calvin sometime, uh, you can come and hike this and uh, yeah, it's a great place to come and enjoy nature all four seasons. You can see the colors change, which is super beautiful, and it's a super fun place to be. So come on over to the Calvin Ecosystem Preserve sometime. Back to you, Joey and Sam. Thank you so much, Ben, for that incredible tour of the Bunker Interpretive Center. And if you go back, Ben was actually on an episode, yeah, what episode? already, episode three okay. of this past season. Go check that out. We'll talk about the climbing wall. Mm -hmm. But I actually went into the Nature Preserve, that Interpretive Center, for the first time in uh, January, okay. mm -hmm. and it is so cool. I am going back 100%. Yeah. Have you ever been there, Joey? I have. I've been there once. I'm actually taking a class there in the fall. Oh. So they have classrooms in there, too. So I'm taking a class on environmental or something. Okay. I haven't really okay. looked too much into it, but I'm really excited about it. We're also really excited to talk to our freshman mm -hmm. friend, Ethan, here, yes, about this sure. freshman year, what Let's it looks go. like. And these questions we have mm -hmm. for him are actually from you guys on mm -hmm. the Instagram. So our first question here for you, my good Ooh. friend, is what is something you wish you knew as a freshman coming mm -hmm. into college? What's something you wish you knew before your mm -hmm. freshman year? Mm -hmm. That's a great question, Joey. Uh, one thing I really wish I knew as a freshman was all the cool study spots around campus, mm. especially the library basement. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. if the lowest floor in Heckman Library, um, they have like bean bags, rocking mm -hmm. chairs. You'll see people napping down Dude. there. So it's a really great spot. I just wish I could get there like the first week instead of finding out, you know, the fifth week that I can go take a nap between my right. classes there. Right. There's also a lot yeah. of great laptops and computers down there. Mm -hmm. and a lot of work down yeah. there on the Macs and things. Yeah, mm -hmm. those bean bags are so comfy. Right. Underrated, amazing. underrated. Yeah. But Ethan, my question right. is, how did you adjust at the beginning of your freshman year? Coming from a senior yeah. in high school yeah, to coming in. Yeah, the food chain. Yeah. Of the food chain year, you know. For sure. Now you're down here. Sure. How'd you adjust? Definitely. The one thing that was a little bit difficult was uh, balancing my social life and my work mm. life. So whether it's my campus job, um, my school, uh, homework, because in high school I have a lot more structure. So right. really finding ways to hold myself accountable, like studying with friends um, or not studying with friends because some people don't do as well with that. <laughs> so different ways to do that. Um, yeah, that. that's awesome. Yeah. I think that studying is such a, it's a huge part of campus and mm -hmm. goes really hand in mm -hmm. hand with our majors. So what is your major yeah. again? For sure. at home? Definitely. I'm political science major. So okay. yeah. And then I'm in the pre-law program. So that's like a pre-professional program. Wow. There we go. So, yeah. We have a lot of pre-professional programs. We're actually seeing mm -hmm. one next, aren't we, Sam? Yeah, we are. We're actually going to hand it off to our friend, Caitlin. Mm -hmm. who's going to give us a huge 
nice, awesome explanation of um, the speech pathology program and that whole program. So we're super excited to hand it off to Caitlin. So Caitlin, take it away. What's up, friends? Good morning. My name is Caitlin Plohatsky. I'm a second year speech pathology major. Right now, I'm sitting in the car waiting for my friend to come in, and we're about to go to our internship. As second years, we have internships that last the entire year. So one in the fall semester, one in the spring. So let's go. So what's up again? Now we are at our internship. This is me with Allie. We are both second years. We are um, currently at our internship at our school. Like I mentioned, every second year has multiple internships. My previous internship was at a hospital, um, and this semester I'm at a school. It's really great because then we get hands-on experience, so working with students, working with kids, working in um, lots of different diverse settings, which is really awesome. Our first year graduate students have class on campus, and they have clinic on campus, so people from the community come to campus in order to receive speech language pathology services. And that's really great because that still allows us to have really hands-on experience, even being at the clinic. And then all of our graduate students take various classes, and these classes are usually at night for us second years. And this allows us to go to our internships during the day and then study later in the evenings. And these classes are in lots of different wonderful topics in speech language pathology that are really tailored to our interests, tailored to our needs, and tailored to making sure that we follow along a really wonderful and awesome career path. We'll check out class a little bit later. So what's up? It's me again, and I am at Calvin right now, about to walk into class. You can kind of see it through there. And this is where I kind of finish my day. I'm about to head into class for a craniofacial class, which is really tailored to the speech path experience. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and enjoyed a little walk through the day with a second year speech pathology graduate student. Thanks. Bye. Thank you, Caitlin. She actually is a past tour guide, which is yeah, super exciting. that's pretty cool. But we are here with our friend, Paige. Now, Paige is one of the tallest girls on campus, as you can see, just towering <laughs> over <laughs> and myself. We have some questions for you, but I can't seem to find, Sam, can we find my question oh, joy, for Joy, 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 it's, it's back here. Oh, there you geez, go, there you Thank go. you so much. Paige, my good friend. First of all, what's your name? What's your major? What's going <laughs> on? Uh, my name is Paige. I'm majoring in geography and minoring in Spanish. Ooh. And this is going on. Yeah, awesome. School nights. Now, what? Page is your favorite study space? Mm. Uh, my favorite study space is definitely uh, lots, actually. I like the fifth floor of the library. There's yes. this cute little book nook in the sun. And well, it's, cool. it's really nice. Best spot. Best spot. Uh, no. And then I definitely like the lib lob, too, with the fireplace. The, the vibes Ooh. are really nice. Do you sit so. in the egg chairs? Ooh. I uh, don't. There's nowhere to put your books. But, you know, they're fun to swing yeah. in for a little while. Yeah, pretty <laughs> they're pretty comfy, too. Like I'm going to be honest. Joey, I can't find my question either. Oh, uh, oh, geez. This Sam, I, I thought it was right, it? right here. Oh. It's, it's behind your ear. Gosh, you're such a magician. <laughs> I, do I my knew best. it. I do All right, Paige. <laughs> any tips for incoming freshmen? Big question. Yeah. But any yeah. tips Big you question. have for some people who might be watching that might yeah. be helping next year? Yeah. I definitely think putting yourself out there is super important. Um, everyone is kind of in the same boat. We all want to make friends. Mm -hmm. And so just like sitting with the person who's sitting alone, asking them if you can join them, they might oh. say no, and that's okay. Or they might say yes and become cool. your lifelong best friend. Yeah. So. And now for everyone watching at home, Paige actually one of the backbones of School Nights. Believe it or not, she's our coordinator. She is. She's the one that puts this whole thing together. So you are <laughs> super thankful for you mm -hmm. being so tall, but also so amazing. Absolutely. And we can't wait for you guys to like and subscribe. Yeah, Anything else totally. you should do, Sam? Mm, maybe hit that bell, too. Ooh, That'd be kind of like cool. That. And maybe do some cool. comments, right, Paige? Yes. Oh, yeah, definitely. But guys, as always, my name is Joey. My name is Sam. And I'm Paige. And this, and this is, is Ben. School, School Nights. Nights.